and Jordan Meadows of the Shady Spring Tigers, uh, Tigers playing Logan. First round of the state tournament, uh, you'll have your horse on the mound. They'll probably, I uh, would assume that Logan will have their horse on the mound, but imagine it being um, Dawson Maynard. Right. But you've got Cam Manns going, and I know you've stated on numerous times you feel confident when he's on the mound. Um, he was on the mound the first Logan game. Um, it didn't work out. Why do you? What would he have to do different to make this a successful start at uh, Power Park? Yeah, one crazy thing about that is Cam averages about 10 strikeouts a game, and against Logan he had zero. Uh, I think he was just kind of like he wasn't hitting his spots as well as he usually does. Um, but, I mean, when Cam's on the mound, he mixes it up well enough to where even good hitters will make mistakes. And then um, it's just one of those things that, I mean, just confident. I, I love watching him pitch. I mean, he's – he has that even keel, and he has the state tournament experience with basketball and football. I mean, he just knows what he's doing out there, and it's awesome to watch. What, how would that um, carry over the fact that he's played? Well, he's played six state tournament games in basketball, played, made the playoffs last year in football. Right. How does that carry over into football? Uh, I mean, I just, mean baseball. Yeah, so. it, it just gives him that like uh, kind of calm mentality, especially when he's on the mound. I mean, uh, any other junior in high school baseball might be a little nervous their first time at Power Park, but uh, I'm not worried about him. And uh, he's just he's dialed in at all times. And uh, if anybody performs in big games, it's definitely Cam. When did what, did the did you think the Independence game last year mm -hmm. even not only woke people up in this area to what he's about, maybe even maybe even him mm -hmm. that he could get do it at this level. Right. And I know he said baseball is his sport, what he wants to do. Right. You think that Independence game last mm -hmm. year? When he was able to beat them, that was uh, maybe the impetus for getting him to where he's at right now this yeah. year. Yeah, because freshman year he didn't get to play because of COVID, and then sophomore year he didn't get to play all the way until May because they were in a state tournament run with COVID. It got pushed everything back. So he really didn't get going until sectional started against Independence in that first big game where he threw a one-hitter against Independence. I mean, that kind of put him on the map, which we all knew what he was capable of. But then this year he said he wanted to redeem himself and do it again at Independence, and he did. I mean, uh, he put us in the driver's seat, but, I mean, Came with only one loss in the year to Logan. He kind of wants to redeem himself against Logan and make it happen. What's the one thing about him that makes him one of the best pitchers in your mind in this area, if not the, if not the state? Well, I mean, obviously he has the velo. He throws 85, 86. But, I mean, his curveball is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And he mixes it up well. He's smart enough on the mound that no matter what our pitching coach calls, he's smart enough to do the right things. So you have uh, that most confidence he's going to go down there and – and do what he does. Yeah, he's going to do what he does. I mean, like I said, if anybody performs in big games, it's definitely Cam. Do you feel like um, you have guys ready? If you, you know, the state tournament's a weird thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I think it, it happened with Independence last year when they had to go to Sipes. Do you feel like you got guys the ro the rotation the way you need it to be for mm -hmm. uh, this? last two game push yeah i mean obviously you got to play the win the first one to get to the state championship so we got alex and david and with the day's rest on friday we can throw them 50 pitches and still be able to pitch in the state championship so we're going to try to do everything we can to win the first one because i mean you you can't play for tomorrow and when you get to charleston one more on pitching i, yeah, I would imagine at this point you can't say too much about david young either yeah. the job he did yeah Iceman uh, young he yeah he, i mean whenever you got a game three against bluefield we just tell him to throw strikes i mean he pitches for contact but the kid's a stud he's, he's the great max of our team so you so you've got a lot of different guys in there you can put in for situations if need be right yeah i mean with i mean you can kind of sandwich them between the two i mean you got uh velo with cam and then velo with alex and put alex i mean david in the middle and he gets the job done at this point, is it simple as just throw strikes? Absolutely, yeah, and make our team make the plays. I mean, with a big field like that, I don't see many home runs at Power Park, but, I mean, a few people hit them out. But uh, Bowen Field, that, we kind of got the experience last week in regionals at Bowen Field, but with a big neutral site field, I mean, I like our, I, I like the chances of came on the mound. All right. Hey, Jordan, I appreciate it. Thank man. you. Thank you.